Crowds of science buffs checking out the NASA flying observatory called SOFIA. These visitors are just some of the lucky 4,000 out of almost 20,000 people who applied for Saturday's open day at Christchurch Airport. The name SOFIA stands for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, with a telescope studying the infrared spectrum of distant stars. The Boeing 747 carries a telescope up to around 40,000 feet for a clear view. It uh, basically is an IR telescope. It doesn't do visible light astronomy, but does uh, infrared astronomy. And what makes SOFIA unique is that we have to fly above the uh, atmospheric moisture in order to get signals because IR is attenuated by the moisture in the atmosphere. The Flying Observatory spends both time in California as well as down here, providing scientists with two different views of the heavens. Uh, at each point we can see the whole constellation of the northern hemisphere in the north and the southern hemisphere in the south. So by being here in Christchurch, uh, we can see the constellations in the southern hemisphere. We also have a more direct line of sight to the center of the Milky Way, the galactic center. And we have good uh, atmospheric conditions here in order to get better, better science. The observatory looks at everything from planets to black holes, as well as studying how early gases, such as helium and hydrogen, evolved at the beginning of the universe. Each flight has a series of targets that they specify uh, that they want to look at. So the plane flies on a target for a certain point in time and then we'll switch to another target based on what the, the priorities of the science are. The SOFIA project is actually a collaboration between NASA and a German aerospace centre, with the Germans providing the telescope, which uses liquid helium to keep it as cold as possible. We have um, uh, used a cryogenic technology to, to get the uh, IR sensors at a very low temperature, close to absolute zero. This is the sixth visit of SOFIA to Christchurch, with 32 science flights planned for the two-month stay. In Christchurch, the South today.